Welcome to the Omniphone Tour. Today, I'll give you an in-depth tour of some of the more useful features of Omniphone. We went over the keypad functions in our making calls on Omniphone tutorial, so I'm just going to touch on a few things here, but be sure to go back and watch that tutorial if you haven't already. The title of the current account active for incoming calls is listed next to the green handset at the top left. To change the active account for outgoing calls, just tap there, and then tap on the account you want to use. To dial a standard number, just type on the keypad. Remember to press and hold the zero for plus. As you dial an international number, you'll see the country's flag pop up. And if you tap on the flag, you'll see the country's name and the region or city for some countries. Here we have France, Paris. If you've made a mistake, tap on the back key to delete the number. Once you dial the number, tap on the green call key to place the call. and tap on end call when you're done. To redial, tap the call key once to bring up the last number dialed and tap it a second time to connect. You can also tap on the number field to bring up the keyboard enabling you to dial SIP URLs. Just tap on return to exit the keyboard. And you can also add the current number dial to contacts by tapping on the add contact key. Next, we'll go over contacts. The contacts in Omniphone work virtually the same as they do in the native iPhone phone application. You can scroll up or down, search contacts by name or number, even add to your contact list. To dial a contact, just tap on their name and the number you want to dial. Now we'll go over the call history. You can do many things from the call history. You can see either the full history or just the missed calls. Tap on a call if you want to call it back. And since Omniphone has intelligent call grouping, consecutive calls to the same number will be grouped together. By tapping on the Edit button, you'll see the option to delete the entire history. If you slide your finger to the right over a group, you can delete the entire group. Or tap on the blue arrow. which takes you to the call details and then you can delete the calls individually. The call details will show you the contact if it's one of your contacts, the number you dialed, the date and time of the call, the length, and whether the call was answered, canceled, or if there was an error for some reason. The call history is also where you can access your call recordings on Omniphone. Any recorded call has the tape icon. If you tap there, it takes you to the recording. From here, you can play back the recording. 
search for a particular part of the recording, delete, or protect from deleting. From call history, you can also add contacts. Tap on the blue arrow next to a call. Then tap where the photo would be for a contact. From here you can add. When you're done, tap history and it'll take you back to where you were. Finally, let's go over Quick Dial. Quick Dial enables you to call your top 12 contacts with just a tap. Let me show you how it works. To add a contact equip dial, tap on edit and then tap on one of the empty locations. You can add a name and number to quick dial here, but let's use the contacts instead. Tap on the open book at the bottom left. Takes you to your contacts. Tap on the contact you wanted to add. Then the number you want to add to the quick dial. At the top it shows how it will appear in quick dial. But you can alter that if you like. I'll just change it from mobile to cell. Then return. Now that I have it the way I like it, I'll just tap on done. And Marie has been added to my quick dial. Just tap on done. And then if I wanted to call her, I'd just tap on her quick dial icon. I can also add multiple quick dial icons for the same person. I have Maria's cell number in my quick dial already, but I want to have her work number too. I'll tap on edit. Then another empty location. I'll go back to Maria and tap on our work number. Tap on done. I'm done again. Now I have two quick dial icons for Maria and I can tell which one is which from the name. We can also rearrange the icons. Just tap on the icon and drag it to where you want it to be. Thank you for watching the Omniphone tour and enjoy using Omniphone on the iPhone.